know I haven't made a video in a while. I'm sorry. I've been busy. I just got a new job. You know, we're trying to get acclimated to our new schedule, but we're going to talk about NFL week seven. NFL week seven starts off at 10 a.m. Pacific standard, one o'clock Eastern time, wherever you are. I'm Pacific standard, so I'll be up in the morning to watch the Kansas City Chiefs face off against the Tennessee Titans. Derrick Henry is going my prediction, this is going to be a bold prediction. Derrick Henry is going to run for 250 plus. The Chiefs defense has proven that they have been unable to stop any opposing offense they have come across this season. And Derrick Henry is a man on a mission. He's going for the rushing record. He's going for the touchdowns record. He's going for the touches. Every single record an NFL running back can attain. He is going for it. And I think he is going to break him. He if he does break Eric Dickerson's record, should be the NFL MVP because there is no person more important to the success of their team than Derrick Henry. Bases off against the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, stellar offense. Can that offense keep up with the machine that is Derrick Henry? I do not know. Mahomes has thrown for more interceptions at this point in the season than he has ever thrown before. Will he be able to settle down? That Titans defense has been picking it up as of late. Played a tough Bills offense last week, who I think is more efficient than the Kansas City Chiefs offense. So it's going to be a great game. My pick is going to be the Chiefs because I have to roll with my guy, Patrick Mahomes. But Derrick Henry is going to have a day for the ages. Next, we got the Washington football team facing off against the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers here because Aaron Rodgers is on a mission to prove Everyone who was doubting him in the offseason wrong to prove that he is the guy that Jordan Love should have never been drafted against a Washington team that has not played well. They have been looking poor as of late, losing to the Chiefs 31-13. They just have not been able to stop anyone defensively, which is very surprising considering the defensive line led by Chase Young that they currently possess. But I got to go with the Green Bay Packers. Let me take a sip of my water. Bengals versus Ravens is actually going to be a really good 10 a.m. game that I think mo many people have not been talking about. That Jamar Chase-Joe Burrow connection has been absolutely stellar at going... Going strong in the season. I believe Jamar Chase is number five in receiving yards. They just have a connection. Jamar Chase did not look good in the preseason, but he has really picked up his game, and it shows. But Lamar Jackson, he has done it through the air, rushing. He has just been doing it everywhere as of late for the Baltimore Ravens offensively. Last week, he did have a poor game in the air against the Chargers, but he was carried by that strong defense and that rushing presence that they have. I have to go with Baltimore here, but Cincinnati may upset some people here. All right, I, This is... This is scared money here. This is scared money if you're putting some money on that game. Next, we got the Panthers versus Giants. Got to go with the Panthers here. The Giants do not look good at all. I mean, nothing goes well. Danny Dimes just is a turnover machine. I don't even think Saquon Barkley is going to be playing. Carolina has been better led by that strong defense with a lot of speed and a lot of talent that can really wreck a game plan for the Giants. So we got to go with Carolina. Next, we got the Falcons versus the Dolphins. The battle of the inept teams. Both teams just have not been able to really be successful so far this season. I'm going to go with the Dolphins because I like Brian Flores and I really want him to keep his job. They do have talent, but the talent just is not coming together. And Tua really needs to sure up his game if he wants to be an NFL quarterback. Next, we got the Jets versus the Patriots. I'm going with the Patriots here. Bill Belichick owns the Jets franchise. He has a majority stake, and there's no way that a rookie quarterback is going to be able to do anything against the Patriots defense. Eagles versus Raiders. So this is interesting. Raiders coming off a win against the Broncos, who were looking good earlier in the season, against the Eagles and Jalen Hurts. I like the Raiders defense. That's why I'm going to go with the Raiders. I really like um, Max Crosby. I think he has a very high motor, and he just works hard, and he's consistent. Makes it harder for mobile quarterbacks when they have play against players with high motors. Oftentimes, you see defensive linemen give up. Not Max Crosby. He is a man on a mission every time the ball is snapped. That Darren Wall, I believe Darren Waller is actually hurt. He's questionable to play tomorrow, but I got to go with the Raiders here regardless. Rams versus Lions. I mean, the Rams are going to steamroll him. Matthew Stafford's out for a revenge game, throwing for 400 plus. There's no way he doesn't because the Lions have proven they cannot do anything. Jared Goff is going to have a rough day playing against Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald. Got to go with the Rams. This is this is hands down. I mean, if you're going to put everything, you're going to put the house mortgage on it, you're going with the Rams. Buccaneers versus the Bears. Buccaneers defense is exceptional. And 
they're really picking it up. Antonio Brown's getting a lot more targets, and as a result of the more targets, he's becoming more productive on the field, scoring more touchdowns, getting more yards, especially with the injury to Rob Gronkowski. I think Gronk is coming back this week, but the Buccaneers is a surefire pick for this one. Next, you have the Texans versus the Cardinals. Another surefire pick. Got to go with the Cardinals. Looking like the best team in football. Kyler Murray's playing spectacular. Christian Kirk, actually. I wanted to talk about Christian Kirk. So a lot of the defensive um, game plan is more schemed around D-Hop and uh, A.J. Green to prevent them from getting big, big catches, big touches. But Christian Kirk and Rondale Moore have been playing excellent in the slot. And it has really opened up the offense, especially when they're in that spread offense. Anyone can get the ball. So if you're playing fantasy, I really, it's hard to pick a wide receiver for the Cardinals. For example, I picked DeAndre Hopkins, and it just, it's rough. It's rough because everyone gets the ball. That's what the offense is designed to do. So someone's going to eat every time, but you just don't know who. Got to go with Arizona. Next, we got the Colts versus the 49ers. I don't know. Honestly, I think both teams, uh, Colts look weak. They look like a weak team. Who did they play last week? They won. I know that. They beat the Texans, right? Texans aren't really much of a team. Uh, the 49ers have a good defense, just injuries, injuries, injuries everywhere. We don't know what Carson Wentz is going to do. We don't know what Carson Wentz is about. God, I'm going to go with the 49ers, but... No, there's no but. I'm going with the 49ers. Saints versus Seahawks, the last game. That's Monday night football, baby. Russell Wilson is out, so I have to go with the Saints. The Saints are a more complete team. Geno Smith played well against the Steelers. Steelers haven't looked good themselves, but Alvin Kamara is going to run over the Seattle Seahawks. Got to take the Saints for that one. Those are my picks for NFL Week 7. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will be more consistent with my videos. See ya.